Today I will show you how you can have a lot of fun in Photoshop by making this really cool but easy cartoonish surprising moment effect when your eyeballs are dropping out of your head when you are surprised by maybe seeing a naked woman or by anything else that will surprise or shock you so you can have a lot of fun with your friends photos, your own photos or any photos that you like. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. You already know what we will do today, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Alright guys, we are here in Photoshop and these are the photos that I will use for this effect. So first I found the photo of eyeball online and then took a photo of myself from the same angle where the eyeball is pointing, so I just uh, turn the eyeballs on the opposite side. But this is the point, it's much easier to take a photo of myself when I find a proper angle of eyeballs than opposite. And I just duplicate them, as you can see right here, and use a pen tool to make these lines like the eyeballs are coming actually out of the eyes. And just with the regular pen tool, just reshape it a little bit and uh, paint the eye with the, the same flash color, like it's one organic shape. And then I made a new layer, clip it affect only this layer and uh, just make everything darker from uh, down below to make a little bit more organic round shape as you can see right here. The next step is to add a little bit more highlights at the top and to change the light on the eyeballs because the light of, on myself was a little bit different so I need to add a little bit more highlights at the top as you can see right there and also I wanted to add a blue rim light on the side, back side of the eyeballs because I have a blue rim light on myself here, so to make everything a little bit more believable. Also I did that the same on these other parts that I don't know how to call them, but this extension of eyeballs and darken the eyes a little bit inside, everything just by painting a darker black color with lower opacity brushes, so it's really easy and simple. Then. I created a new layer and just made a few more veins on that extended part of eyeballs and uh, that's basically a few veins here and there. And then I use hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the veins layer and just change the color a little bit. After that, when I'm done with that, I just play a little bit more with some reflections. I wanted to add reflections to that extension part of the eyeballs and I use pen tool for that, but I ended up of not using it, I lowered the saturation too much because I didn't like it. But basically then I grouped everything, clean up the mess of the layers and bring back this shattered glass to have that effect like the eyeballs are actually going through the glasses and breaking the glass from the eyeglasses. So this is really cool. What I did, I just add the black layer mask and with the white color, I just paint the parts that I want to be visible. Then I use another shutter glass layer photo, I actually put it in a screen blending mode and just did the same job, just paint back what I want to be visible. Then I used hue and saturation adjustment layer to change the color of the eyes a little bit, to experiment with few tones, but I ended up using the blue color. Then I created uh, curves adjustment layers to do a classical dodge and burn thing, I have a full tutorial on that. And I made few parts of the photos darker, few parts brighter as you can see the reflection of the glasses and some changes on the eyeballs and uh, these extensions and that's basically just the regular dodge and burn thing. After I finished with that I merged all the layers into one final layer and went to camera raw to color grade my image just a little bit. This is something that I always do at the end. So I just change few sliders, move them left and right, change some colors, add some sharpening, add blue tone to the shadows and also add some textures and clarity and decays. And that's basically it. I just played with some sliders to match my settings. And this is it. This is before and this is after. Really cool, easy and simple effect to create this cartoonish surprise style effect. And that's it. Right guys, so that's it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you learn something new, cool, fun and interesting out of this one and that you will use these techniques to create some cool, fun and interesting images of yourself, your friends or whatever you want. If you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.